In this video, we will explore three features that makes containers a better choice for design when compared with columns and section. Okay, so first I'm gonna drop in a container here and then I'm just gonna add a text, a heading text. Um, and then I'm gonna place and click, let's say read, read more. All right, so we have this read more over here. I'm just gonna go in just a little design just to make it look a bit nice. All right, go to advanced and then I'm gonna give this um, pattern of 10. Change a little of the style. Uh, click on the text and then I'm just gonna change the, um, this to a black and then make this probably a 16. Uh, let's leave that at 24. All right. Um, okay, I think this is good. We're just gonna remove. I'm gonna click on the main container and then come to layout. And then we're gonna make this a zero. Okay, let's save this. All right, so the first thing, as I said, will be link wraps. So what are link wraps? So in this new containers that Elementor is going to release um, in the near future, so what we're using now is just an experimental, but with the experimental, you are still able to do a lot of good stuff. All right, so I'm going to click on the container like this, and then I'm going to come down to HTML tags. Okay, so this is where we implement the link wraps. So under the HTML tag, I'm going to click over here and then come down to A. Click on A. So when you click on a what happens is that it turns the container from a normal container into something called a clickable container um, for columns and sections you didn't have this feature if you wanted your containers to be clickable you might need a workaround either you need um, a custom code or you need to install a new plugin but with containers you are able to change the html tag to an aref and then over here paste in a link that you'll be able to just click on it making the whole container clickable so over here i'm going to put in a link let's say facebook.com um, let's do that as elemental and then save it and then I'm just going to preview the page. And then when you hover on it, you can see that on the bottom, or we just click on this like this, it takes you to the link that you added to the container. So I think that is one thing that is going to change the, the way that people design is going to, um, if you are using a custom code to add links to your containers, or you had to download a new plugin to make this happen now you don't have to do that making it really easy when it even comes to designing um other aspects of your website so that is the first thing so the next feature will be inner sections inner sections or when it comes to containers inner containers so with elemental sections and columns you you could do inner sections but it was a tedious work when it comes to adding an inner section into an inner section. It is not, uh, it's not something that you cannot achieve, but it is something that will cost you more work to do than a usual um, just inner section. So here I'm gonna show you how easy it is for you to just add an inner section. So I'm gonna um, click on the containers and then come to the layout. So for the minimum height, choose VH and then I'm gonna make this 100. All right, and then make the, the width full width and then click on this cog icon. So over here, I'm just gonna pick a container. So this is the first one. So container inside, the next container, another container, another container, another container, another container, another container. And then another container. So as you can see, you can keep nesting containers until you're tired. 
but then I'm gonna show you how difficult it is to do what I just did um, with the container. So this is um, there's the old sections. As you can see, uh, this where this doesn't have the container feature enabled. So this is the old one. So let's say we want to do an inner section in an inner section. How are you going to do that with the old columns and section? So first, let's say we add our main column and then make this a full width. Okay. Then come over here and then we add in an inner section. Okay. So we add it in an inner section. Let's say we want, we're going to delete one. So we have only one inner section included. So let's say we want to add another inner section inside the inner section. So let's say we come here and then we grab inner section. As you can see, it wouldn't allow you to add an inner section inside the inner section. So for you to be able to do that, you need to copy an inner section from a different column to paste it inside the old inner section for you to have an inner section inside an inner section, which is a lot of work. And also you cannot have more than 10 inner sections with the old columns and sections. When you reach turn, they won't allow you to go any further. But with the new containers, you can insect as much as you want. It is an infinite number of inner sections. So this is another thing that is also going to change the way that people design. The next thing that I want to talk about is Flexbox. So let's add this. So let's add um, a new container. So come in here and then add a new container. All right. So um, I have other videos you can check um, in the column um, in the comment below or uh, in the description. I'll add a link to one of my videos that has um, Flexbox, that I use Flexbox to, to design an advanced layout. So Flexbox, um, it's not, um, sometimes it becomes daunting a bit, but it's not that difficult when you um, when you understand the, the very basis of it. So it gives you the, the option to lay out things much easier give you more directions alignment and justification so these are over here it doesn't give you like much information but flexback is really um the, the option for flexbacks can be seen over here where you have direction let's say we add in um an image right let's add an image find uh these are some of the old okay let's add this and then duplicate and duplicate. So with Flexbox, I am able to click on this image, go to advance, and then tell um, the image to align itself to the left. Tell this image to also align itself to the right. Tell this image to also align itself to the center as it is. So you are able to do all of these things with flex back so this is just for the image i can then click on the container the main container that the image um is in and then come down here and say that okay all the images inside should now be in a row direction so i can click on this row and now all the images will be in one row i can tell the image to be in a column direction it's also be in a column direction i can say that okay the image should be in a reverse Row. So let's change one, one of the images here. Let's pick this. And then um, click on the container, go to items, and then make this a reverse row. As you can see, so this was in the beginning, but now this was at the end of the of the row, but now it's in the beginning. I can say that okay, give me a reverse column where this one comes on top. Or come to a normal column where it goes back to the bottom. Let's say we're gonna make this a bit smaller so we can see the justification. Then make also this also smaller, and then make the height a bit bigger. Okay, so click on that, and then come to items and say, okay, you want everything to be in the middle. So now everything comes into the middle. You want everything to be at the end. So now everything comes to the end. 
we want um, everything in the container to be at the start so it moves it to the top of the container we want it to space around or space in between so everything speaks in between so that is the power of flexbox so with link wraps with intersections and with flexbox elemental containers is going to make designing a website much easier going to make you create better layout and also help you reduce some of the plugins that you have that you that you might not need because probably you wanted that plugin to create a link for a container or for a column or section now you don't have to do that anymore because now elemental containers come in with already inside which is an age worth where you can you'll be able to add a link to your containers without you having to use a third party plugin or custom code.